Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, and today we're checking out Max Level Gwen versus Aurelian Soul. So for her star powers, we have Round Star to summon a Ghastly Band. You see that right here, and then the second star power plus one starting mana. When your leftmost attacker gains power from Hallowed, so does the attacker on its right. The Hallowed mechanic. After I die for the rest of the game when allies attack, hallow your first attacker, giving them plus one power. So some of the units, such as the Ghastly Band, have this little needle right here. So that is the hallowed keyword. So when they're dying, they're giving you that stacking buff when you attack, which is quite beneficial. For our relics, we're going with Crown Guard Inheritance, Ludin's Tempest, and Troll King's Crown. So Crown Guard Inheritance, when I level up Rally, Gwen, vast majority of the time, will level up your first attack. So she attacks, gets that massive buff from hallowed, rallies then you attack again keeping all those buffs and then compounding on top of them usually ending the game ludin's tempest all of your spells and skills deal one extra damage gwen has a skill that when she attacks based on her bonus power she deals damage to the enemy nexus so this synergizes quite well with the crown guard inheritance of getting all those extra stats from hallowed really making your ludin's tempest and your skill deal massive damage to the enemy then troll king's crown just making so Gwen all of her units have that overwhelm. Since you're getting that massive power buff, you want to be able to utilize that to demolish the enemy nexus on your first attack. This is my go-to setup for Gwen, works out quite well. If you're enjoying all this Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. All right, in game now. I accidentally forgot to start recording before we entered the battle, so it's gonna be a little bit of a different screen here. But four powers, we've been able to get be pretty lucky. We got the best defense. Allies have grow my health to match my power. One of the best ones for Gwen. Afterlife Forbidden and Higher Education. Both fine, giving us some decent upgrades. But then the main one is Perfected Mana Flow. Really nice we're able to get that. For Gwen, as you can see, we got some extra stat relics or stat items. Very nice here. And for our support champion, we have Udyr. We're in game now against Ezreal, and he has that unyielding determination. I think we're happy with this. So there you see right there, Udyr with that mana deposit. Happy to do whatever's needed. All right, let's do a strike up the band. With that mana flow, we're somewhat struggling to be able to stack up our. Uh, hallowed fast enough. Did that sound right? So getting all of these to die is quite helpful. So we're going to try to play something before Gwen so that hopefully we can get them to use some of their abilities beforehand. There we go. They still have, might have enough to kill her, but want to play her as soon as possible. So we'll get through their first health bar. I think we'll just use our atrocity here to uh, end the game. GG. Alright, I think getting the... well, sentry wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's get actually crumble. I'm hoping we can get sorcery so if we have even more mana that we can freely spend. So yeah, as you can see, we just did one adventure than where we normally start our recording. So we cleared about the first third. Haven't really picked up anything too crazy. We do have the Ruination, which we probably won't play. Udyr, the Shaman's Call, and he also came with the Volpine Wanderer. And then we were able to pick up Strike Up the Band. Great card to pick up for Gwen, really helping us scale a lot faster. So here we wanted to get the Epic or Champion Item Chest. Farsight is quite nice, but I think I'm going to go with Colossal Hammer just so that we can be sure to level her up as soon as she attacks. We want to be ending the game as fast as possible. And 
Normally we should get more than enough copies to always have Gwen, but if you wanted to play it a little bit more safe, you might want to go with Farsight. Alright, so we have Gangplank with Perfected Mana Flow. Alright, we'll give it to the Shaman's Call and the Undying. Uh, we'll hold on to the other two. Let's get the Phantom Butler. And we'll just kill our own unit. So this is pretty crazy that this item got that... Or this unit got that epic item, because now all of the Ghastly Bands will have it. So that'll be pretty crazy powerful. As you see, oh, they're really strong. Alright, we'll play Gwen first. I think we'll play this to buff up our Gwen. So this should be GG, I think. I'll cut my name into ya. I will not squander the great gifts I've been given. Um, I think improving the crumble wouldn't be bad. Uh, this could be okay, but I think we'd rather spend the mani mana potentially over here. Actually, you know what? I think I'd want to use a reroll so we can get something a little bit better. Sure, that's not too bad. Alright, so Lee Sin with Mana Flow or Draven. Lee Sin can be quite annoying, but won't be bad to go to the shop. We're really trying to get sorcery if we can. Alright, we don't need two atrocities. So I think I'll actually glimpse my own unit here to buff up our Ghastly Band again. Alright, so now they all have Elusive. And I think let's even do it one more time, see what we can get. Alright, decent amount of damage early. Let's play Udyr. Now, Lee Sin will probably kill him, but that's fine. We follow the old ways. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate. <sighs> so we're wanting our hallowed units to die here, so they'll keep stacking up the buff, and we don't really care if Udyr dies. So we can now play our Gwen. This way we can open attack next turn, which will be quite nice. Oh yeah, Udyr's back. <laughs> Alright, we can attack like this. This will give Gwen that elusive, which will be quite powerful. And yeah, that should be GG. They might have a stun, but even if they do, we can just atrocity and win anyways. I will not hold back. Our 
enemies cannot hide. So they're stunning us. We're going to end anyways, but we could also play an atrocity here for Gwen to do even more damage. But yeah, we're fine with this. Getting more blighted caretakers. Not bad. Yay, sorcery. We finally got it. Perfect. Uh, Mist Wraith, that wouldn't be bad. Most of these aren't bad, but I think I want to... Actually, that's pretty... <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, we're probably not gonna... Well, whatever, we'll buy one. Probably would have cut this card, but it actually could be funny to play. So we'll cut something else. Well, the Ruination, where... Actually, I suppose there's a chance we'd want to play that against Aurelian Soul. Um, I don't really think we need the Volpine Wanderer, so we'll get rid of that. Alright, Fizz with Duplicate. Uh, I think we'll get rid of the Sapling Toss. Nice, we're able to push so much damage early. And also scale up our Hallowed so much. A brief engagement, but a joyous one. Alright, perfect. Let's go like this, killing at least one of their units. And we would have to play Gwen. So we'll be able to open attack next turn. Pretty good, should be GG. One stitch at a time will make something totally new. All right, just further increasing our stats, not bad. Uh, this is too much. We already have a pretty full board. Uh, I think let's use a reroll here. Not bad. Trying to look for something a little bit better though. <laughs> Fair to go look at it out. I think we'll go for quick draw, just really trying to go all in on having as much mana as possible and reducing down our cards as much as possible. Let's see, yeah, I go with this. Alright, so we have Lulu with power overwhelming. That right, looks pretty good. Hopefully we get an elusive from this. Probably not. Nope. A little sad. Uh, I think let's just... Yeah, kill one of our own units. Oh, there was our elusive. I guess let's play Gwen. So we can just immediately attack and end the game. What a joy. 
All right, so they'll probably be able to block, but this should rally us, and then we should be able to attack again and end the game. You like frogs, huh? One stitch at a time, we'll make something totally new. Stop eating or no more walking. All right, GG. Sure, this is kind of ridiculous. We're probably not going to play it, but I think it'd be funny. Do we even have a nine cost champion? I don't even know if we do. Whatever. Let's go for it. All right, let's see. This is just going to be too many units on our board. It's already full enough as it is. Um. Yeah, I think let's use our gold for some other things. Like, getting at least one of these for the far sight, not bad. Also, this could be pretty good. All right, that should be pretty strong. So we have Aurelia with Duplicate. All right, we will get rid of these two. Awesome, we can play our Gwen right away. What a strange, wonderful world. Well, Nothing to fear. I mean, I guess we'll just win the first round. All right. One stitch at a time, we'll make something totally new. So we could attack again. Oh, this is also why we got Cataclysm. I shall need my tool. Well, GG. All right, I guess we'll grab Sapling Toss. So Yasuo with level up. All right, again, we'll hold off on the Ruination and Shaman's Call. Hold on to the rest. I'll play our Gwen again. Perfect. They don't have enough mana to stun us. I'm watching you. Hey, you there. Hope you brought friends. Stay. I will not squander the great gift I've been given. All right, well, GG. What a joy. All right, making our Cataclysm a little bit better. Gain some more copies of it, not bad. So we're on to Aurelian Soul with level up. All right, we don't get the attack token this time, a little sad. Get rid of one of the caretakers. Oh, we didn't draw Gwen there. All right, a little sad. Figures at the one round. <laughs> we don't draw her. All right, let's just use this crumble to immediately get rid of their unit. And let's get rid of this unit here. And let's see if we can get rid of this unit here to summon a champion. So again, a little sad that we didn't get uh, the one we wanted. Let's try to go fishing. I 
I guess we'll just get rid of this unit then. Ah, Timo's better anyways. I think let's maybe buff up our Teemo so we can do a little bit more damage to the Nexus. Udyr will potentially die, but again, we don't really care. We're just trying to go for Nexus damage. Alright, let's use our Cataclysm to at least kill their unit. I like having their board empty. And sure, let's summon one of these. Let's buff up our Udyr a little bit more so we can, well, better contest some of their units. Ah, oh, that's rough. Alright, so we'll let Udyr die there. Yeah, it's not too bad. I guess let's just buff up Teemo more. Sad we haven't gotten our Gwen. Uh, sure, let's do another sapling next round. And they're going to be able to play Aurelian Soul, I believe. Yes, they will. So I guess we'll play this, killing our one unit to again further increase the stacking buff. So I think we'll attack like this, doing as much damage as we can. Sadly, none of these are really going to help us here. Pretty rough that we're not getting our... Our Gwen. The constellations bow to me. That is a lot of overwhelm damage. My, how they See. Ah, uh, this. I would play this to capture their scourge, but our board is full. That is very unfortunate. Well, that is a lot of damage. Never afraid. Won't pass these walls. Well, a little unfortunate. Pretty much we lost just because we couldn't draw our Gwen. Little disappointing. Alright, so we have six Gwens in our deck, so we have a lot to draw, and because of our one power, Heroes Welcome, Game Start Draw Champion, we have overwhelming odds to draw Gwen over Udyr, because we have two of them, but a little unfortunate. 
Again, if you grab Farsight, this is why you'd want to do it, just to guarantee you're going to draw them. Um, game went pretty good, other than the fact that we just couldn't close it out. We were controlling it quite well in the early half. Uh, hopefully we draw our Gwen, but let's see how we do. Alright, we have one Gwen, perfect. Yeah, I'm fine with, fine with this setup. Again, we don't start with the attack token. Alright, so we're going to go like this. I think we'll also kill this unit. So this goes off first, gives our Gwen a epic item, and then gives us another stack for our uh, Hallowed buff. Alright, perfect. Alright, GG. As you can see, makes a pretty big difference when we're actually able to draw our Gwen. Alright, that was our max level Gwen. Quite a lot of fun. We did get decently lucky with getting some good powers, specifically perfected mana flow. But one of the strongest champions in the game, especially for a kind of mid-cost champions, most of the other ones that are very, very strong are like two or three cost or even one cost. Uh, but Gwen, you know, be that four cost and still generally considered a S tier champion. Pretty awesome. By far the best Shadow Isles champion in the game. So if you're looking to complete quests for that region, definitely go with Gwen. Great pickup for you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.